This blonde wig is uh, in many, many, many parts of the world considered as the sexy asset, something that you you can't go wrong uh, with this wig if you want to be a sexy woman. I started the project when I saw that uh, in the street there were new, a new kind of mannequins on, on display. Uh, women with a very thin waist, uh, flat stomach and big uh, breast and big bosom, big arm, full arms and tall. But uh, it was normal because this, I knew that this is what African Ivorian men like. But what was surprising is that uh, all of them, or most of them, were painted with this light skin color, uh, Caucasian color, and with, with a very thin features uh, from the face, uh, so that they looked like plus size white women. So I started in investigating, and uh, that's what I found, that people think that they can sell better their, their um, goods if it's displayed on white bodies. And these white bodies still have the African beauty standards. I totally agree with the fact that the, the measurements of and the shape of the mannequin is different from uh, the ones that you, we see in, the, in Europe. But why would they paint it in such a fair skin color for a customer who is a black woman, uh, and that they are, they, are, they are manufactured locally. The second part of my project was um, observing um, outside my country and seeing the similarities between what I see on the road in my country and what I see on social media and uh, the pop culture. And then I saw that um, at the same moment when I was working on the project, I saw uh, Kim Kardashian with the, the, this phenomenon of break the internet, who we could see uh, derrière. <laughs> and uh, I thought, oh, this is the embod she's the personification of what I'm witnessing here in my country because she's a uh, very fair skin, she's white, she's Caucasian, and she has this African body. So that's how I started doing the, these conceptual pictures of um, uh, photographing the mannequins who has these measurements that, is, that are very difficult to reach. And uh, the real woman who has stress marks, who have, uh, was a normal body. And the two, these two uh, uh, women, these two image, body images are merging and superimposing each other uh, to become the perfect body and the perfect black or white Venus of our times. My conclusion is that now the beauty standards are merging and crossing from a continent to another and we find each other with the same, same beauties that you can see on Instagram, on Facebook or all over the world. And um, I ask myself, what is Going to what is beauty today and what will it be in the future in my country and on my continent. This project uh, questions uh, the fact that we are supposed all to merge in a imperfection. As uh, to me, richness, the richness of each human being is to stay unique. <laughs>